Sometimes in fairy tales, you find yourself in a real pickle. And other times, you find you actually get pickled. This is Oops All Cinderella's, a series where I, Liz, am sharing as many of the world's Cinderella tales as I can until my brain short circuits and I can no longer relate to anything other than in Cinderella terms, which may be happening sooner than later. Today I'm sharing just one of the several varieties of the Iranian Cinderella tale, Ma Pishuni. Ma Pishuni is a sweet kid who is manipulated by her school teacher into drowning her mother in a jar of vinegar, quite literally pickling the woman. As in other Cinderella tales, this event is a really big deal. Ma's school teacher slinks in and weds her father with relish. Ah, evil stepmothers, the bread and butter of Cinderella tales. Okay, I'm done. Newlywed stepmom and dad have their own daughter, and Ma Pishuni is left to be the servant of the house while the half-sister is coddled. But then a very helpful cow appears in the very same jar that Ma Pishuni's mother was killed in. And this animal becomes a huge help to Ma Pishuni. One day, Ma Pishuni is spinning cotton, and she accidentally drops the cotton spools into a well. The cow coaxes Ma Pishuni to go down into the well to retrieve the cotton, but to make sure she takes care of the demon who lives down there, no matter how scary the demon is. So that's what Ma Pishuni does. She brushes the demon's hair, even as cockroaches scuttle out over her fingers. The demon shows Ma Pishuni to a room full of riches, where she is keeping the girl's cotton. Ma retrieves her cotton, but she leaves the jewels behind. In return for her kindness and frugality, the demon shows Ma Pishuni to a river to bathe in, which leaves Ma Pishuni strikingly beautiful, with a moon on her forehead and a star on her chin. Well, stepmom sends her own daughter down the well to get some of that celestial makeup, but stepdaughter Apple doesn't fall far from stepmother tree. Half-sister treats the demon brusquely and fills her own pockets with as much gold as possible. In exchange for her rudeness and greed, the half-sister bathes in the river and finds herself with a scorpion's tail hanging from her chin and a donkey's dick hanging from her forehead. Ah, we meet again, disfigurement as punishment trope. You will truly always be the wet fucking blanket of fairy tales. What else is there to say, really, except like and follow for more Cinderella tales? Hi friends, I'm moving soon, so it's a great time to join my Redacted, or send a Redacted. Your support will help me a lot.